So I'm still plugging along on this uh, AMX50 from Amusing Hobby. I've got I've done all the construction for the actual model. I've added wherever the plastic handles, grab handles were. I've replaced them with lead wire. I've done the weld where I wanted to put the weld. Uh, this seam join here, I've it's not a natural join, so I've glued it and I've sanded it back and I've put in some uh, texture over the top of it to blend it back in with the cast iron texture. To do that, I used the Tamiya putty, the normal one, the basic type, which is grey. And I mix that with uh, glue make it thin the putty down and then just dab it in with an old old uh, stiff brush obviously you're not using a good paint brush for that because that's the end of it so I'm ready for priming uh, and start to paint it I'm gonna go along the lines of as I mentioned I think in the last section of this was uh, I'm gonna do it like Indochina war the French and Vietnam and I'm going to borrow a scheme off a, a I don't know how you pronounce it, Chaffe or Chaffe, Chaffe tank that the French used and I'm going to use a similar scheme that I found images of and I'm going to play off of that, I'm not going to do it identical, I'm going to do my own thing, it's a what if so I'm going to do that. Uh, where the antenna go there was a little plastic nub that sits on top I cut them off I'm going to stretch sprue and put the uh, antenna on there because they're not in the kit the other thing with this kit I noticed now is there's no uh, you got no tools or anything only uh, you got the fire extinguishers there's no other shovels and the normal things that tanks have hanging off them but I'll probably have a scrounge through my stowage gear I've gotten. Glue a couple of things onto it just to add interest to it. Uh, the metal barrel doesn't have the muzzle. So I've had to cut the muzzle off the plastic in the kit. Glue it together and then glue it onto the uh, metal barrel. So that's unfortunate that they didn't supply the whole thing as metal. Uh, <clears throat> that'll sit in there. I'll paint it off and put it in later on. It's pretty heavy. Also, this this build, I'm going to put a I'm going to put on a base. It won't be a diorama. It's just a base. So, like for some reason, I can't seem to do armor and not put it on some sort of base because I like the I like the look of it on a base. I build aircraft and no worries to just sit on wherever but to me a vehicle needs something I don't always do it but most of the time I will so I've been messing around making up some uh, trees I've started with these ones I'm using putty I had I just got some sprue off the kit and just cut some straight sections off and roll putty around it for the the tree trunk and I use the silhouette cameo cutter and I found uh, if you go just type in like palm tree silhouette and it'll give you an, a black solid leaf and then you just transfer that to your silhouette program and it cuts it out uh, I'm not overly happy with it I'm just going to continue on to paint them and see how they look painted up uh, this isn't a palm tree it's loosely a banana tree uh, but yeah I just use normal paper A4 paper to cut uh, I think they might be a bit thick but also I have to see how they handle to paint I've never tried it before it's just messing around see what happens and I also, 
this was a longer process same sort of thing I did the trunk but I rolled putty which is the uh, AK that stuff uh, mixed it rolled it on a hard surface I got an old uh, like ceramic like I don't know if you can pick that up the board glass board type thing it's nice and smooth and flat roll it out thin and I just cut leaves just again never done it before trying it uh, see how it looks when it's painted up and I was, I've also started making I'm gonna do a couple of palm trees so I've done a I got a uh, bamboo skewer and a chopstick and I've added putty around them rolled them so they're round and I, I've, I've got to do the leaves on them yet so I'm just experimenting having a bit of fun so I'll see how they turn out when I paint them uh, you can see all the white on them that's uh, powder talcum powder it's to stop stop it sticking to the tools when I'm rolling it and uh, to the board that this stuff sticks to everything even your fingers so if you keep a bit of powder on it keeps it from sticking and also I've done the cutout this is the track for one side of the vehicle I'll paint them um, and then I'm gonna work out putting them on I've never can't remember if I've ever done a tank that had uh, particular segmented lengths to it so I'll uh, have to mess around a bit see how it's all going to go together plus if I'm putting on a base I'll need to create the base shape that the tracks fit and push push into the the ground inverted commas to uh, add the track marks into the ground so uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just about ready to shoot some primer on this and start messing around with how I'm going to do the uh, paint scheme on it.